teaser off the top, incidentally, is part of a mini documentary that we shot on the premises of the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel last June when we were out in, in Los Angeles. It's located right in the heart of Hollywood, just across the way from what used to be Grauman's Chinese Theater and is now Mann's Theater. But to that hotel from the latter 20s to the 30s and the 40s and ever after. Some of the great legends of the screen, the great luminaries from the silver screen used to come for varying periods and it's full of legends and the ghosts of legends and I, I know you'll enjoy the documentary. It'll be on right after our second feature tonight. It's a little bit late but don't toddle off to bed pre prematurely. You'll, you'll regret it because it's a wonderful little, little item. Well good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to Saturday Night at the Movies. My name is El Wio. You've guessed our theme. It's simply stated nostalgic Hollywood. Now under that banner heading, we're going to be doing two different things. One thing, we're going to present two movies, the like of which they don't seem to make anymore. They're sentimental. They are movies full of nostalgia, a yearning for the past, chiefly the small town world and indeed the turn of the century. So we're going to do that. And the second thing we're going to do is take a peek or two at Hollywood's past, as you gathered, of course, from that little mini documentary. The pictures, well, I think they're, they're splendid. They're very entertaining. The first is Stars and Stripes Forever, made back in 19... Uh, 52 by 20th Century Fox, directed by uh, the redoubtable Henry Coster. And it's all about the life, Hollywood style, with licenses, I might add, the life of John Philip Sousa, the man that America marched to for seemingly generations. Clifton Webb plays John Philip Sousa, and uh, Robert Wagner's in it, and it's got a wonderful cast, and you're just going to love its music, and it's, just, it's nostalgia. You'll be getting up and marching before it's over. Around 10 tonight, our second feature. Some of you may like the title, some of you may not. I've loved it. It's called Wait Till the Sun Shines Nelly. That's right from that old, old song. And it's one of the finest evocations of small town life I think ever presented. It's certainly one of the top four, which, of course, would include Our Town and, and uh, King's Row and the Magnificent Ambersons. It's right up there. Um, David Wayne is in it and Gene Peters and Albert Decker. And, uh, again, I urge you not, not to miss that when it's something special. Now, my guest list is quite tremendous tonight. You'll be hearing from Robert Wagner and from Henry King, from Tony Thomas. He'll be here. And Jan Walner, who's the PR gal, the lady, for the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. She'll be taking us on our little tour there. And Michael Kellerman and the Star Polishers will be here. It sounds like a rock group, it isn't. Michael Kellerman is with the Board of Trade in Hollywood, and he heads up an outfit called Fantasy Tours. That's the outfit. And that suggests the past, doesn't it? But these Star Polishers are a group of people that come out on the first Saturday of every month to polish the stars that are put into cement out there on the sidewalk along Hollywood Boulevard, right near the Mann's Theater. And they, they polish their favorite stars. So... Anyway, it is two stars and stripes forever we now go with great pleasure. But first, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let this wonderful chap introduce it for us, Robert Wagner, part of the interview that I did with him, or that we did with him in Hollywood. I've been very fortunate in my life in regard to being able to take advantage of the circumstances that, or the circumstance that, that comes up at the moment. And uh, I've been, it's been very good to me. This. I'm, I'm very, I'm a very fortunate person in my professional life because I always wanted to be an actor. I always wanted to be a part of this industry. And I've been able to do that and I've been in it for a, a long time now. I've been in it for 35, 36 years now. 